Petrov's defense, classical attack, martial variation, Stanton variation. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. Nx e5 places the knight in the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and takes the undefended e5 pawn. It is ideal. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. It is best. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. It is best. d4 takes space in the center, controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. It is best. d5 takes space in the center, defends the knight on e4 and controls the c4 square. It is best. Bd3 develops the bishop, attacks the knight on e4 and prepares castling. It is best. Bd6 develops the bishop to an active square where it controls the center and prepares castling. It is best. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. It is best. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. It is best. c4 takes space in the center and attacks the pawn on d5. It is best. c6 defends the d5 pawn and allows the queen to develop on the queen's side. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This exchange is fair. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is a fair deal after all captures. Takes back. It is the last book move. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. By assaulting the opposing queen, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is quite good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. By posing a threat to a bishop and compelling it to flee, this gains a tempo. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This exposes a bishop attack. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable bishop. It is a mistake. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to win a queen. It is excellent. This makes it impossible for the adversary to win a queen. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. This permits the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to contest the opponent's rook for the open file. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to relocate a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. This defends a vulnerable bishop who is being attacked. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to slay a queen. It is incorrect. 
This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This disregards an improved method for getting a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This may succeed in winning a bishop. That's good. This prevents the adversary from winning a bishop. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. The bishop is currently located at an outpost, a safe square within the opponent's domain. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. White is superior at this point in the end game. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This threatens to add pressure on a pinned bishop. It is good. This exchange is fair. This makes it impossible for the adversary to apply more pressure on a pinned bishop. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to take an outpost with a bishop. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Thus, a bishop is won. It is quite good. This avoids the queen's check. It is quite good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is ideal. This seizes a helpless pawn. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. 
It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the bishop off the board. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. It's all right. That's good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. 